I hate being told this, especially after something really bad happens. Just maintain a positive attitude. I remember when my cat Charlie passed away, I posted about his death on Instagram, and I got an influx of comments and messages from people, even people I don't really speak to all that much, expressing their condolences. So many people knew how much I loved my cat because I never wasted an opportunity to talk about him or show pictures of him. But one comment I received on Instagram kind of rubbed me the wrong way and it's kind of bothered me ever since. This person expressed their condolences but they also ended off their comment with, try to stay positive. Charlie was not just a house pet to me. I considered him my best friend since I was age seven. He was 15 when he passed away. So naturally I'm not going to have a very positive outlook when an animal I was so attached to for so many years passes away. Look I understand the person had good intentions and I do appreciate the kind words that they wrote in regards to Charlie's death before they said try to stay positive. But I feel saying try to stay positive after something really bad happens to someone is very tone deaf. It may be easy for you to say stay positive because whatever situation is going on with someone else may not directly impact you. Let's say someone's mother passes away. Yeah, sure, eventually they would have to pick up the pieces and attempt to carry on with their life. Grief is is a process and it can be a pretty lengthy process and it's pretty hard to put on a smiley face when you're overcome with so much negative emotion especially right after something shattering happens in your life and there are plenty of instances in life where you just cannot be positive because something is just that bad like again losing a family member you were close to or losing a pet you were close to where is the positive side in scenarios like those I was really close to this person or animal and now I can never see them again. There might be some positive in the sense that maybe the person was sick and now that they're dead they don't have to suffer anymore, but death isn't always like that. A loved one can go out one day and then all of a sudden they're hit by a truck, or one day they just all of a sudden get a fatal heart attack. You can try to find some positive outlook in lieu of a loved one being swiped away from you just like that out of nowhere. And if you can, somehow, and that's your coping mechanism, then good for you. I'm not trying to be an ass, I'm being genuine, but I am just not built that way. When I lose a loved one, I am fucking gutted and my attitude is so far away from being anything remotely positive. I just really hate toxic positivity and the idea that you have to face all of your problems with a smile. I'm not saying you have to be negative 24-7. Trust me, I know how unhealthy it is to be negative 24-7. You just have to be a realist, forcing in positivity in aspects of your life where it just doesn't belong and shutting out all negative emotion even if that's what you really feel about a given situation deep down is also unhealthy. There is no reason to shun yourself over how you really feel about a negative experience that may be going on in your life. And there is also no reason to shun others over being open about how they feel about said negative experiences going on in their lives. Even if you have no ill intent saying just stay positive to someone who is currently facing trauma or anything bad going on in their life currently is essentially saying don't bother me with your negativity. Me personally when I'm told that I feel like I'm annoying just for simply venting about how I really feel about something that really negatively impacted me. And I also feel like there's something inherently wrong about how I feel about said negative event. Oh I'm supposed to find some kind of positivity in this tragedy that just occurred in my life? But I am completely unable to. Is there something disconnected in my brain that makes me not able to find the quote-unquote correct outlook on this situation? It is perfectly fine to feel negative emotion, especially if something really negative just happened to you. That is authentic human emotion. There is no reason to suppress how you really feel about experiences going on in your own life just because you may seem like a downer to some other people. While I say fuck them, they clearly do not value the fact that you saw them as a source of comfort to vent your feelings to. And also, how the fuck do you expect someone to grow as a person if they do not get in touch with their real emotions? 
Burying how you really feel for the sake of maintaining a happy facade only damages you even further on the inside. You're not actually addressing your negative emotions, you're just trying to pretend they're not there. But sooner or later, those negative emotions will catch up to you. It's not unhealthy to feel negative sometimes. Life isn't always peachy. We all have our share of shitty experiences. What matters most is how we overcome said shitty experiences, and trying to force a happy attitude attitude, even if that's not how we really feel on the inside, is absolutely not a healthy way to overcome said experiences. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye-bye.